Let's talk about Arsenal's defence. It looks like they're bringing in Nicolas Pepe further forward, but at mm. the back, they've got big problems. Third worst defence in the top half of the table last year, and mm. they're hoping to get into the Champions League. How are they going to do it? With a struggle at the moment. Uh, when you look at the players they've got available, there's a lot of players that I don't think are good enough to play in the centre-half position. Koscielny's got his problems with Arsenal at the moment, but he's probably, probably their best centre-half, even though he had that long-term injury. Bayerin is a great attacking fullback. He's unfit at the moment. I'm sure he'll come back into the side. Maitland Niles is playing at right back, uh, who's a good athlete. Uh, Monreal has been playing a lot of time at, as a left centre half in recent times for Arsenal, but I'm sure he'll be the left back. But it's in that centre half position that I would really worry. When you look at Callum Chambers, uh, Rob Holding has had an injury as well, and it's going to take him a little time to get back. Mustafi, in my view, isn't good enough and has proved that over the last two years at Arsenal. So they've got big problems. They've made a signing in William Saliba from Saint Etienne, the teenager, but they've mm. sent him back on loan. What do you make of that? I'm sure it's a very good sign in, in the long run, but sh at the moment they need a player that can come in and play centre-half, make Arsenal's defence better. He's a, a youngster and they've, they've kept him back out on loan to, to St Etienne, but I think that's a mistake. They need players now, they need players to come in and make that defence better. But also Unai Emery's got to work harder at the back four. They changed from a back three to a back four and when you talk about what's their best lineup. I'm even not sure whether Unai Emery knows whether to play with a back three or a back four. In pre-season, they've played with a back four so far. We talked a little bit about Nicolas Pepe and what he might bring to Arsenal. Let's take a look at your preferred starting eleven. If they change the way that they've been playing, mm. or at least uh, develop under Unai Emery into a style that he is comfortable with, that they can be successful at, the defence obviously will come under less pressure, but at the same time it needs to re remain solid. It certainly does. I mean, Torreira, I think, is a decent player. You know, he was at Sampdoria. He has been at Arsenal last year and for uh, Uruguay. Xhaka, I still think, lacks that little bit of intensity. They can, that's another area that they need to improve on. Elneny hasn't been good enough, so that's why he's no longer in the, in the reckoning. But Pepe, Aubameyang, Ceballos, I think, will play against the stronger sides. It could be Ozil against the weaker sides, but I think Ozil and Mkhitaryan don't help the team defensively because they're not good uh, players that will close the ball down. When you look at Lacazette, he does it, Aubameyang does it, I think Pepe will do it, and Sabayas will have to do it. So they've got to be not just good at, in the attacking sense, those front players, they've got to be the first line of defence. And if you defend better from the front, it's much easier in midfield and at the back to see what's happening and, 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 and easier to defend and read the danger. Where would you say they're most susceptible if they do not strengthen? Is it going to be set pieces? Is it going to be pace? Uh, I think it would be on the counter-attack when they lose possession and Arsenal's defenders for a long time ha haven't made good decisions when they're making their recovery runs. You know, you can, you can lose the ball in midfield and be outnumbered, but if you know what you're doing and you show the opposition into certain areas, you can slow them down. Arsenal haven't been very good at that. They're not quite sure whether to play offside, they're not quite sure whether to back off, they're not quite sure whether one closes the ball, the others come round. So they're the problems they've got. And do you think there are any players out there that they should be going for? Any names that come to your mind that would be top of your wish list? Uh, I haven't looked at it from that point of view, but the first thing they have to do is work harder at the defensive side of the game. OK, well, we'll see what Unai Emery does with what's left of the transfer window. They have made their move defensively, but as we mentioned, been loaned back William Saliba. No use to them this season. And further forward, Nicolas Pepe expected to join. It's going to be a very interesting new look Arsenal.